Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Classic and today we are going to be going over all of the new animal trophy shop poses that they added into the Hunter Classic with the most recent update. Now, I don't have a couple of these which are the Feral Hog and the Moose, but I do have the other four which is Red Deer, Roosevelt Elk, Turkey, and the white tailed deer so we will be seeing if we can get something on red feather falls i also entered a few competitions so hopefully we can complete a couple of those and place relatively high but we're basically going to be going over all of the different controls for the new poses uh what each of the new poses looks like and we're going to try and get at least one decent trophy to show off in those poses but basically if you want to purchase them you can get them through the bundle section, which is the animal trophy shop hoses bundle one, you can get it for 600 M's. You end up saving 300 if you do it this way, so that is a pretty fantastic value. But if you want to buy them individually, you can go into, I believe, let's go ahead and try to find them. Okay, so I don't actually see them in another category, but you can get them through the all items tab. This is the only spot I can find the individual ones for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure if that's intended or if they're supposed to be in the trophy shop poses category, but for some reason they're not. So for now, just go to all items and you can find the individual ones. As you guys see, I've got these four right here. I always like to keep at least 13,600 so that I can reset missions. So uh, once we get a little bit more gems, we'll probably buy these last two trophy shop poses. But for now, we got these four to mess around with. So we're going to try and show off as much of these as we can. So now that I've kind of gone over where you guys can get these and which species are available for it, let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to be using. So I decided that since currently the 7mm Aud 8 is on sale, we're going to be using that rifle today. So if you guys want to pick this gun up, it is 479 M's right now for the green variation. And then you can also get the black variation for 599 M's. As far as I know, the only difference really is the visual difference. And also this one has 10 round magazine instead of five. So that is the main differences between it. We're also gonna be using the two to 10 rifle scope because this is also on sale at the moment. So uh, with all that being said, let's get straight into the hunt. So I think what we're gonna start off by doing is we're actually going to head down here to this tree stand and see if we can get a good white tailed deer to come in because I have had some pretty good success at this particular stand. This area seems to be a fantastic spot to get a decent amount of whitetail to come in in a relatively short time. Usually within the first 15 minutes or so, I will have anywhere from uh, three to five bucks come in. So it is a decent spot to get a few whitetail deer to start off. And I think once we've kind of hunted this stand for a little bit, we're probably going to go up through here and try to find some elk and maybe some black tailed deer also. So we will see how things go, but primarily we're going to try and get some white tail and Roosevelt elk to show off their trophy shop poses. Also, once we actually do get something down, we will be talking more about the different controls to uh, move around the trophy shop poses, some of the new features that were added with this update that are actually very, very helpful features when trying to position your animal in a good trophy pose. And I think you guys will be very happy with the changes they made if you haven't already tested them for yourself. And there is our first grunt from a buck. He's actually over here. Uh, we do have a few does coming in, so I'm going to have to take care of them first, but... We do have our first buck of the day. Hopefully it will be at least a half decent one to kind of show these poses off. Uh, while we can, let's go ahead and take her out. Now we got one more doe there and there's actually another doe kind of this way too. So we're pretty much surrounded by does with that one buck off in the distance. So hopefully they don't spook off and run towards him. Well then, that's uh, not exactly what I had in mind, but... I mean, it's still a buck. We'll at least get an idea of what the poses look like uh, with a smaller deer. So we'll try to find a bigger one to kind of give a comparison. Unfortunately, we just spooked off another buck and that one actually looked a little bit better. So that's kind of unfortunate, but hopefully we'll be able to track that guy down. He did look like he was slightly uh, bigger. So I guess we'll see what we can do after we get this first buck to come in. I honestly probably should not have taken that shot on that doe, but I figured we'd maybe be able to hit a neck bone, but I might have been slightly low on that. So it is what it is. It didn't spook the buck. So at least we have that one still here, even if that other one did spook off. But I'm kind of thinking what we might do is to get whitetail. We might actually uh, go ahead and head up this road maybe. 
either that road or come down this one. And then later on we can go through this spot to try and find some elk. Unfortunately this doe is getting a little bit closer than I'd like her to. I was kind of hoping she just wouldn't come this way, but unfortunately we will have to take care of her. That will do the trick there. Alright, so this buck's right in front of us, 27 meters at the moment. Uh, we'll go ahead and try to take him down if we can. Uh, this might not be the easiest angle, but we'll try to get double long. And that will do the trick right there. So let's go ahead and grab this guy and get our first little look at the trophy shot poses. Would have liked to test him out on a bigger buck, but we will find a better one uh, before the end of this video. I am going to go until we get at least something that is somewhat good. So let's go ahead and go over the controls. If you need help at looking at any of the controls that are for the trophy shots, hit the uh, F key and you can actually pull up all of the different controls for it. But to give you a brief little rundown, to open up the new trophy shot poses for the animals, you hold down the P key and it gives you this wheel right here, which will allow you to select everything and if you want to take it off of the pose you can just keep it right here in the middle and it will ragdoll so it's kind of a cool little way they have it set up uh, most of the time I like to use this particular one right here and then you can hit spacebar to move around once again and same as the old trophy shots you have the ability to drag things around and rotate things with left and right mouse button and to do the hunter poses hold down T once you equip a weapon and it goes nicely with this particular one right here I really like this setup I think it's a pretty good one but I think that is good right there so let's go ahead and do that uh, once we get another buck we'll go over some of the other controls for the trophy shots so we just got a call from a bull moose that is actually pretty close, so I went ahead and bought the poses for the moose. So let's go ahead and try to take this guy out, and then we will continue going over the different controls for the trophy shots. Oh my gosh, okay, that's actually a pretty good moose. Ah, uh, that's a pretty good sized moose for sure. He doesn't have a ton of points though, so that's definitely going to hurt the score, but he's got good palm size. So let's go ahead and try to take this guy out with the bow. Eventually I do want to use the 7mm odd 8, but I think we'll probably wait till we find a big white tail to use that on. But there we go. Got him down and he actually landed in kind of an interesting spot. So this will give us a good trophy to test out some of the other controls that we haven't shown off yet. And test a few of the moose trophy shot poses. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. It is a 152 moose, so not too bad. So he's not a huge one, but definitely a decent sized moose. Now, uh, some of the things that they changed with the trophy shots is the fact that now when you change camera positions, it doesn't automatically drop it to the ground, which is honestly a super awesome change. It's something that I had wanted for a long time, so I'm glad they finally did it. And then if you do want them to ragdoll down, you can just hit the backspace key and it will drop them to the ground. So it's a very helpful thing to have. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and put him in the trophy shot poses. There is one of them. This is probably the one a lot of people will end up using, but they also have options to do quite a few other ones. And you can raise the trophy up and down with the mouse wheel and also the page up and page down keys. You can also, once again, right click to rotate it. And that's also a pretty good pose right there. We also have this one right here, which I believe is the charging moose one. Yeah, that is the charging one. I've seen quite a few people using this pose too, which is kind of cool. And then we also have this one right here, which is also a fantastic one to kind of show off the trophy. So we're going to use this one this time. Let's go ahead and take our bow out and go into probably probably this trophy shot pose right here let's get lined up obviously the lighting's not super great because it is raining but there we go so that is a decent one right there we do have something coming up on us i hear i'm not sure where though but i did hear that right there actually so that is a little doe right there 
Go ahead and take her out. That will do the trick. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and look around for a decent sized buck or elk and then we will be back. Alright, so there is a little average sized buck. We're probably going to go try and take this guy down. This one will be a little bit better to kind of show off the poses again. We'll try to get a different pose than what we used on the last whitetail buck. Uh, because this guy is slightly nicer looking, so we want to use a different pose. Alright, so this guy's at 43 meters now, so he's getting relatively close. In no time, he should be within bow range. And in fact, I probably could take this shot. Actually, I think we will just go for it. It shouldn't be too difficult. And that will do the trick on him. Alright, so here's this little buck right here. Uh, last time we used the pose that I think the majority of people will probably use. This time we're going to use another one of the poses that I actually do use quite often now in my trophy shots. So once again you hold down P to bring up the wheel. And the other one that I like is this one. The one on the very bottom. I think this looks pretty good for the most part. And there's some cool things that you can do with it when it comes to using the hunter trophy shot poses. So let's get turned around to where we're actually in the light kind of. If uh, that's even possible right now, which unfortunately it's not because it's kind of dark here on Red Feather. But uh, for those of you that don't know, if you have Hunter Trophy Shot poses, you can hold down T uh, once you have a gun out and select the one that you want. So we're going to go with the small game one. I think this pairs with it pretty well. Uh, just having it like this, I think, looks pretty awesome. So we're going to go ahead and do that right there and go ahead and confirm it sell our trophy and yes that's the other one that I really like to use uh, that one and the first one that we use on the first whitetail I think are my two favorite trophy shot poses I haven't really used the other two too much but we will go through them probably in the next couple bucks that we take down all right so we now have a chance to take out a Roosevelt elk which will give us a look at the Roosevelt elk poses so let's try to get this guy down hopefully he'll be of at least some size and that is him right there. He's not super huge, but we don't really need anything in particularly large for showing off the poses. So let's go ahead and take this guy out. That should do the trick there. And we actually have a lot of does right there. That is kind of unfortunate that there's so many does in this area. This session really has been full of them. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this guy right here. Right lung, left lung, 167 scoring, so let's go ahead and do probably this pose right here, I guess, would be a decent one to try out. So let's move things around a bit, get him on a little more flat surface. I like that. I definitely like that. So let's go ahead and pull up our poses again. And do probably, we could even do this one. So this is meant to be kind of like a charging elk, but you can actually also do it like this, which is kind of cool. Kind of like the fact that it does kind of mesh with some of the poses pretty well. If you get the right spot and that right there is looking pretty good. So definitely like that. We'll go ahead and take that right there with that doe in the background. Alright, so we got a couple elk in front of us now. I think that since I am about to fast travel, we will go ahead and just use the 7mm Mod 8. So, this is a gun that is currently on sale, which is why I wanted to bring it along. If you guys are interested in it, it is on the store. I don't know how much longer it's going to be on sale, but if you act quick, you should be able to get one. But one of the cool things about this is this right here, the bipod. It makes it so if you're prone, you can use the bipod and you will be 100% steady which is great for stuff like this. Let's see if we can... And that will do the trick. We got two bulls down. Let's go ahead and claim these guys. This guy right here is not half bad. So let's go ahead and get a decent looking trophy shot post for this guy. 215. Uh, he's not a huge one, but definitely bigger than the last one that we took out. So there's this pose right here, but I think we'll just do this one. Uh, 
yeah, we'll just do this one for now. So let's go ahead and pull out the other gun. We'll do the deer hunter pose on this guy. And, well, that's actually pretty much perfect. <laughs> it almost got perfect on the first go. Oh, that looks good enough to me. So, we'll do that right there. And this guy right here is a 187, so not quite as big. Go ahead and do a different pose for him. We'll do this one right here, since we haven't done that one yet. Uh, let's go with that one. That doesn't look too bad right there. All right, we have switched over to Valda Boy now because I do want to test out the Red Deer poses. And this guy right here is an average size Red Deer stag. So let's go ahead and take him out. That will do nicely. Let's go ahead and see if we can take her out too. I'm going to go ahead and take all of these out and then we'll go claim this stag right here. All right, well, unfortunately, they spooked off because I got a bad shot on that second bull, but he was only a small one anyway, so not that big of a loss. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up and test out the poses for the first time for the red deer. A 161, so yeah, just an average scoring one. Uh, this has very similar poses to the elk, so you're going to get roughly the same stuff for this one. Uh, unfortunately, this has limitations because we're in the water, but I think what we'll do is we'll probably just go... Probably just this one. We'll kind of tuck it right there and get our character behind it. There, I think that actually looks really, really good. So we're just going to do that right there. Now let's go see if we can actually find something of any size. All right, so this guy is slightly better. I think we will try to take him out. He does have a slightly better estimate and got one of those, I believe, cross foxes. Uh, we won't really worry about that because they're not actually that rare, I found out. So we'll just go ahead and try to get this guy down. Yeah, that's definitely a much better stag right there. Definitely better than the last one that we took out. So I'm probably actually going to just have to prone in the middle of the water because I don't think I'm going to be able to get to land very quietly. There's also another decent one there. Not nearly as big, but if we get the chance, we'll take it also. Okay, so 26. This guy's getting close enough now. Let's go ahead and draw back. That will do the trick there. He actually died in a pretty good spot too. If this was pre-patch where we didn't have these poses, this would actually be a pretty good spot for him to land. We are pretty much surrounded by stags though. We got one there. We have one up here in the middle of my screen and then we also have that one over there. So. Plenty of options to take out, but this guy was by far the nicest of them all, so let's get a look at him. 206, this is the best one of the day. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll actually just put him in basically the same pose that he was just in. Sadly, with this particular rack, it's kind of hard to get it to position the way I'm trying to, so we're going to have to do something a little bit different. Honestly, that works just as good, so this is a good example of what you can do with these trophy shot poses. I really like the way that looks, actually. That will do the trick on him and this guy. Alright, nice. We got both of those. Here is this guy right here. This is, I believe, the second biggest we've seen. Oh, actually, it's actually the biggest one. Uh, that was kind of a nice little surprise. I thought it was slightly smaller. So, for this guy, let's go with this pose right here. There we go. That actually shows it off pretty well. I actually really like that one too. It's going to be so hard for me to choose a favorite with these poses. Go ahead and grab this little guy. We're not going to do a trophy shot with him, but figured we'd get him down so we don't spook anything. And plus, it's just one more down to get some extra gems. Uh, we're going to do the same with this one, and then we'll search some more for some other ones. All right, so we finally got a pretty decent red deer out here. 195 to 285, so... Definitely going to try and take this guy out. We're going to go ahead and use the 7mm odd 8. So hopefully we can actually find a decent spot to post up. Unfortunately, these hinds are getting a little bit too close. Uh, I'm going to try and dodge them as much as I can. All right, there he is. We finally got him to show himself. Let's try to get 
in a good spot to put the bipod down so we can actually take this guy out with a steady shot. It's about time this guy decided to walk out. I was waiting a few minutes for him to pop his little head out, but oh, that will not do there. Let's go ahead and try this, and that should work right there. That is a dead red deer. Oh my gosh, okay, that's a way bigger one. Uh, change of plans. We gotta chase down that guy because he's actually way bigger than the one that we just took out. That one right there is easy 240s and possibly even higher. I couldn't get the best look from this distance, so we will have to go check that out, but let's claim this guy first. All right, so this guy actually didn't have nearly as many points as I thought he did at first glance, so I'm not sure how he'll score, actually. It might be only 220s. Eh, 214, actually. He's not nearly as big as he looked at first glance, but that one that we saw run away definitely is much bigger, so we will go for him. Let's go ahead and just take a quick trophy shot of this guy, though. There we go. I'm liking the way this pose is looking. So we will go with that. Now, let's go get that giant. There is that big boy right there. Uh, based off that estimate and kind of just what he looks like, I'd say he's probably on the higher end of that estimate. Probably 230s, maybe 240s. I haven't had a ton of practice guessing red deer scores, even though they are one of my favorite animals to hunt. Uh, back when I used to play this game very heavily, I just never really took the time to uh, learn how to score each animal. And since I recently got back into the game and, and have been trying to learn how to do all that, I haven't hunted a lot of red deer, so I'm still trying to get it down, but I think this should be good right here. And that will drop him on the spot. Beautiful. One thing that I kind of forgot to mention about the 7mm Odd 8 is it can actually take two different ammo types. I believe the high power and the high velocity are the two different ammos for the 7mm Odd 8, and each of them has different... Uh, animals that you can actually kill with it, so that is pretty awesome. It makes it a very versatile gun, and this guy is 243, so not too bad. That's a good size one. Let's go ahead and set it up into a pose. I think since we're in the water, this might be the best way to go, and then we will equip our 7mm Mod 8 and do Maybe something like this. Let's see if we can get ourselves standing on a rock. Let's see what we can do with this. Man, honestly, if the lighting was a little better at this angle, this would be perfect. This would be an absolutely perfect way to do it. Okay, so the sun actually just shifted into the perfect spot for this particular pose. So we're going to go ahead and do it like this, I think. Yeah, I'm liking that. I think that looks pretty good. We will go ahead and use, I think we'll use the chroma one for this particular trophy shot. So that's pretty cool. That is a good sized red deer. And I think we'll go ahead and leave it there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I do post daily Call of the Wild and the Hunter Classic content and do five live streams a week. So if you don't subscribe, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of good content. But anyway, Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace! If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.